and good evening thank you so much for hopping along and watching me on my channel tonight if you're coming live nice to see you and if you're watching this on the replay i appreciate you catching up taking the time out to watch the replay so welcome along so i put up a poll or a vote on facebook earlier to find out what i should be creating tonight and the options were to do something christmasy to do a one sheet wonder or to use the pillow box die which i've been meaning to use and I've not had a lot of time to have a play with it yet. So, um, let's work for something Christmassy. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Sorry, the video has just kicked in on my other device. There we go. Right, a bit pixely tonight. Let's hope that dies down. If I don't move very far, sometimes it's okay. <laughs> let's see how that goes. Let's turn you around and see what happens. Sorry, I should hold, tell you to hold on to your bellies. Right, sometimes it's to do with the actual... Oh no, it is set quite high. I say sometimes it's the actual setting on the um, computer. But oh, uh, there's nothing I can really do about this. But I can see the quality is not great, is it? I don't think it likes... Sometimes it just takes a little while to calm down a bit. Come on. I don't know why it does this. I don't know if it's a YouTube glitch, but it's very difficult to get videoing when I can't when you can't see straight. No, it's not. It's, at the moment, it's not playing ball, so. Just wait for it to catch up with me. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So I thought I'd start with the craft paper first because I want to give the white ink a chance to dry. So that's the plan with the this and then we're going to do some other techniques as well it looks all right because you're just staring at a blank piece of paper <laughs> so I've gone ahead and cut out a circle um, mask that's not sticky I had some sticky ones oh it's dreadful I can't see a thing let me just check my... If that makes any difference. So, I think, actually, I might go... How am I doing? Am I still a bit... glitchy? It. and I want to use my white um, the brush that's had my white on and I think it's got a, quite a bit of caked ink on this already I'm just going to rub this on my card and see what happens yep there's definitely ink on here already so I'm not going to add any more white ink just yet oh the picture is awful <laughs> Let me just try one more. Um, let me switch on my other device and see if that makes any difference. This is going to be one of those annoying evenings, isn't it? Where we're not going to actually get anything done. So it's just white craft ink on here. And I'm rubbing it around my mask, okay? And then I've already pre-cut. Now, if you don't have really long post-it notes, you can actually just go ahead and stick them together. Okay, it seems to be clearing up, so we'll just 
we'll go with that. So I'm going to lay this across my, actually, I just thought I, it might pick up the blue, which I don't want it to do. And I'm just going to rub that white down on there. It's, it seems to have fixed itself, thankfully, I've not done much, so I've not missed out much. <laughs> and then, whoa, that's a lot of white. Didn't mean it to be that much. It's just going to have to be that much now. <laughs> Let's come back up here and put some more down. So the reason why I'm doing this first is because I want to give it a chance to dry. So we can go around this again, I think. The white ink is particularly sticky, so it needs a chance to, to dry. Okay, so I want to leave that as it is and we'll come back to that in a bit. So let's do another one, but this time we're going to do it in colour. I might have to make myself a new post-it note. And we're going to find... Oh, where is everything? <laughs> Everything's moved. Okay, I want to try a different colour. I'm going to try very vanilla and this time I'm going to do a, just, I'm just going to make it monochromatic, I think, and try that idea with uh, soft suede. Now, I think this has got a bit of green on it, so let's just rub this clean a bit. going to come in with soft suede. Now remember, after you've picked up colour on your brush, you want to take off the excess first because that's where you get your smudgy lines. And we don't really want smudgy lines, we want nice lines. So this is soft suede. Hi everybody, sorry I've had a few issues with my screen being a bit funny just at the beginning of this so I was just trying to tackle that. I've just found my big post-it note. This is what I was looking for earlier. <laughs> so I'm going to lay down some colour. And while I'm here, I'm going to get my stamp set out, which I've I cleared everything away. I was having a little play on my desk and I think I've packed everything away. What have I done with it? I feel very disorganised today. I was here a minute ago. I was here look, under my pile. <laughs> oh dear. What's everyone been up to today? Let me know in the comments. How are you doing? Tell me something exciting that's happened today. So I'm using the stamp set Peaceful Deer, which has got lots of lovely trees to choose from. And I'm going to, let's come up here with this, trees here. Okay, we don't want loads because I want to fit in some other features as well. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm going to cut across straight here, I think. in with my brush again and we're going to now if trees are further away they're smaller aren't they is that right oh I had you got a customer yesterday how exciting thank you for the reminder yes there's an amazing offer at the moment if you love crafting and you you love stamping up products or you'd like to Think about, you know, maybe getting in some early Christmas presents. It's a great offer for £75 at the moment. You can sign up with Stampin' Up and choose your starter kit. So if you want to know more, please drop me a message. So I'm going to leave that as that, that and take this off. I caught the top, but don't worry about that. 
And now I want to introduce some more critters to my picture. So I'm going to add the deer. Um, the big news for Vicky is she had a bacon and toasted sandwich for breakfast. <laughs> love it, Vicky, love it. So don't worry about the fact that the deer has got some shading on him, okay? I say it's a him, it looks like a him. Um, okay, so let me tackle that now. So I've used soft suede as my main colour. So I'm going to get the light. In fact, we could use... I'm going to grab out the light crumb cake. Blend to just colour him in. And for this, I mean, if if you find that your blending has coloured your animal in, just use a darker colour. It's fine, but I'm going to pretend it's part of his his coat to look like that. Now I think down their chest and on their tummies they are white and on the inside of their leg. That's what I, how I try and remember it. So anything else exciting that's happened? There is a three day sale, thank you. There's so much to remember at the moment, so much going on. And um, there's a three day sale. I'll be putting in an order, I'm sure of it, very soon. So if there's anything you'd like, there's a sale on the Reduction on the ink pads, percentage off, cardstock, and some dyes as well. The second exciting thing for Vicky is she's watching me live. There you go. Thanks, Vicky. Okay, so I like the idea now of, although I do like the idea of the deer having this thing on his hind leg there. Just adds that extra detail. Um, I did have some other deer in the other ones, but you know, there's time. There's time to add. Oh, unless we put. Should we lay the that one there? That might be quite sweet, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's lay lady deer on the ground. And would they have? Would they both have horns? Antlers, rather, technical term. Would they both have antlers? Oh, look at that, spot on. Thank you, Vicky, for sorting it out. There's my online shop, and you can check all the things that are available on offer. So what did everyone else have for breakfast today? Anything exciting? So today was the last day of my course. I told some of you about it before. It's for for work where I'm learning about a program to teach children phonics. It's been very interesting, tiring, a lot to take in, but uh, I feel a bit more equipped. <laughs> and I'm just glad that I'm not teaching the older years. Just the buck. The doe doesn't have horns. Oh, that was a good job then. Good job, well done, Esther. <laughs> okay, so in terms of the edging, I said I was going to come back to the boo-boo. I'm going to add a bit more ink. Welcome, everybody. Sorry that I haven't said hello personally yet, but you're all welcome. Do say hello if it's your first time. I'm going to emphasise the edges with some more ink around the edge. But also... I want to create a bit of a frame and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a minute. And this is just one colour. Don't feel that you need lots and lots of colours to get started. So this is using soft succulent and I've used, okay, I've used what? Crumb cake blend. It's going to be my vintage inspired card. I like doing vintagey ones for, do you know what I'm tempted to do is put some scripty 
something scripty on here let's have a look right let me finish what i was saying so i was going to outline what well, i will in that but instead i've just caught a glimpse of mary's moments and this and i think for this particular one i want to use these also known in the trade as dotage so i'm coming in with my soft suede again and like i said i wanted to i want to create a border so i'm going to literally just come around the edges this lovely speckles and even down to the front and yes we are going to stamp over the deers a little bit but it's all part of the design you might be shrieking out your screens going what is she doing no but it just helps to enclose i don't know if you can see the whole thing just helps to enclose the, the edges a little there right i'm feeling the itch to put some script on it hmm. so we could put big sentiment on but i'm thinking something scripty Oh, I'm going to add more. I've started now, so I'm going to finish. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with, this is from Merriest Moments, and I'm using the large fern. I think this would look nice coming in from the edges. This is the moment, another moment, maybe the brave or, the brave or stupid moment. Ta-da! <laughs> so I'm going to have these coming in off the edge. Oh, yes. Just extend this branch. It's got some fern trees coming up the side here. So you've got that lovely depth of field, I think they call it. I'm just going to close that, bridge that gap at the top. Maybe one hanging here. There. Oh. Birds in front of the moon, says Pamela. I think we don't need it now, Pamela. What do you reckon? So let's just audition this because I'd like to see what it look like on just a piece of... Hmm. Let's try it on very... Is this very vanilla? Yes. So this is on very vanilla. But it might look nice on something like a crumb cake. I'm tempted, you know, if it's something like this, I've just gone and put my smudge on it. Um, you could do a splash of red or green. That might look quite nice. Let's have a look and see what it looks like on evening evergreen. Look at that. Look how deep, deep that is. Lovely. Right, I'm going to put that to the side. Let's do some more. I'll have a sip of tea. Heidi loves the trees in the foreground. Good, so that was a good shout. <clears throat> I might have to just do a quick clean up of the stamps. What I've got here is called a chamois. So it's like a spongy piece of material. Wet it with water and it's good to go to clean your stamps. So welcome all you 30 live viewers. It's nice to have your company tonight. Let me use this opportunity to say you can share out this broadcast while I'm live. Let right now, right here, right now. Or you can share it afterwards. And there's a few options. There's a few places that you can actually share it out to. So you can share it on YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, various places. And it's a great way of people... Now remind me, they're in there. <laughs> Discovering my channel, discovering what I do, coming to get inspired and see what I'm up to. Now, I've got smudges on here, so I'm going to turn them over and do some... Let's do landscape for a change, see if I've got any more of those spare circles hanging around there. Um, 
Okay, let's have this in the centre. And we'll bring back our post-it. Feeling a bit brave. I've got some colours on my desk here. I might... Oh, I'll tell you what I did see somebody do, is to have the sun kind of going down in the horizon. That was quite fun. So let's see if we could do something a bit like that, shall we? Should we do something a bit different? Maybe some pinks and purples? Oh, feeling brave. So do people like traditional Christmas colours? Always a bit of a controversial question, I think. Some people like their greens and their reds and other people like to splash out a bit and go a bit different. That's a bit of an odd colour, I think it's merging a bit with my, my brown, don't mind. So the first colour was Fresh Freesia and I'm going to go in with Highland Heather. Now, Lisa Hartman, I saw that you were on here. Was it you that had some pictures of the Northern Lights on your Facebook? Amazing. Oh, who's making coffee? Oh, <laughs> espresso as in the colour espresso, Heidi. Thank you, 36 people. Do show yourself. Let us know who's watching. Let us know if it's your first time. Coming in now with... What colour is this? Uh polished pink uh, what else we're going to play with somewhere around here I had balmy blue I think I might need to get some reinka for balmy I'm hoping by the end of this, this will look like a nice sunset. <laughs> you just got to just keep going and see what happens. See what happens. Hope for the best. If it doesn't work out, you fix it. Because that's what we do around here. So I want it nice and dark around the edges. So this is, what is this? Uh, Misty Moonlight. So I'm not going right down to my post-it note because I haven't mas masked that section off yet. So I can always come back. In fact, let's do that now. Let's just add a bit of post-it note. Oh, I've got a two-tone of colour happening there. Okay, so I'm just going to go around, uh, no I'm not, I'm going to do this, we'll just keep going. This is what I'm using pink for, it's a bit of a sci-fi uh, Christmas. Okay. I do want to introduce my little friend, still in the box. It was meant to be blue, I did a why I did pink. But there you go, we're going with it. I love blues and pinks and purples for Christmas. Oh, there you go then. Joanna likes these colours, so we'll just go with it. So this is a balmy blue. I think I'm going to stick things to wear a bit here. And bring back some trees. Oh, there's this big tree. I'm going to cover up my boo boo over here. Just talking you through the process. So you might be wondering what's going through my head. I'm thinking, how am I going to fix it? And we're just like, do you know what? We're going to do a cover up job. That's what we're going to do. Claire says, I, can't, I just can't do pink at Christmas. <laughs> right let's bring on some more post-it because I want this to 
look as if it's behind the snow. Getting a bit cat candid here. We've got them peeking out from behind the trees. Okay. It's almost like a winter, so this could be a wintry one rather than the Christmas one. And Joanna says she doesn't like the traditional colours, so she'd rather go for non-traditional. I think we're going to stick to this big tree because if I start putting the small ones in, it'd look rather odd. I've just noticed another boo-boo up there, which we're just going to nicely cover up because we can. And then add a few more trees, so it looks... Like it's meant to be. You can even go back over, do a bit of shadowing, like so. Uh, let's take this off. Oh, not bad, not bad. Should we take this off as well? Okay, it looks like the moon has sunk into the thing of me. So we could. I'm tempted to put my prancing reindeer just like, you know prancing across the moon. I could do that. Yeah, why not? This is a bit of a fantasy card, I think. <laughs> okay, is this one big enough? Yep, just about. I am thinking Misty Moonlight. Oh, Levine likes it. Good. And it's got Joanna's vote. Oh no, cow's jumping over the moon, says Cindy. Cindy, it's a dear. She's thinking, oh dear, aren't you, Cindy? <laughs> it had to be done. It reminds me of Raymond Briggs' snowman scene. You guys. Now... I'm not done. I'm not done yet. Mm, I'm thinking with my thinking cap. Right. Light for me. All the way a bit. It just brings him to life if he's got a bit of colour on him. Okay. Hi Glenna, so nice to see you. And now I thought I had those colours on the table. Or was I organised and put them back? Dark, misty moonlight, light, misty moonlight. The deer is jumping because the rabbit's scared. Scared him. <laughs> Should we say? Right, I know it's a bit of a wacky colour, but it's going with my colour scheme. So this is the light misty moonlight blend. Now, what I should have done, something else, but never mind. Ruth was talking about the light source the other day and that colouring in and I've just kind of completely ignored the what I've just done, but never mind, I'm just going to carry on. We won't worry about light source because the deer is in front of the moon, so he's kind of eclipsing the moon, okay? If anybody asks. So that's the inside of the leg, so yeah, that was the donkey. Okay, I like it. Um, definitely need some in a minute, but I'll, I'll add, save that. For the end and I think we could have should we make it a Christmas card could have let's celebrate um, what else could we have you decide and I'll finish with some 
of these, which was the one that I was going to use originally, but didn't end up using the snowflakey one in the oh I just thought I am wondering about the no we will do the snowflakes I'm going to try and be a bit more what's the word assertive no not assertive hi Melanie welcome what's the word I'm looking for you know when you make you make a decision and you get on and make it what's that word <laughs> I can't even think of the word Oh dear. What, what is the word? Come on. To be fair, the light but is behind him, so no light source in the front of him. Thanks, but the rabbit's just in his world of his own there. So again, I'm going to frame this by using these snowflakes. I don't want to overdo it at the front because I might put a sentiment in. Decisive, yes, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to be decisive. So do we want a sentiment on here, was the question. I could leave it as a winter card as opposed to a Christmas card. I might do that. Snow dotage, exactly, for this snow dotage. I quite like the idea. Might not work. Oh, I have two ideas really. I'll just dwell on the first one about the colour card stock it's on. Oh, that's pretty. That's one idea. Wasn't the colour I was thinking. I was thinking about polished pink. No sentiment. Who's got the vote? That's a bit bright, a bit too garish. Oh, we've got Misty Moonlight, which tones it down. Or sometimes these kind of things look nice just on white. Just kind of brings it back. Yeah. So who's up for a bit more? More, more, more. Oh, I've not finished this card. <laughs> In fact, well, remind me to put the embellishments at the end. So I could revisit my white one. That I did earlier. Still a little bit wet. I'm just going to put a quick glass with the heat tool. You might want to turn your volumes down a bit just because I'm going to come near the microphone. Now, do we think I should? I was in my head, I was thinking maybe put black on here, but do we think? Maybe we could do either navy, no, well, we've done blue, so either black or brown. So we could go early espresso or we could go black. I'm kind of thinking black. What do you reckon? As you're live with me now, you get a chance to have a say. Well, I just try and create a little bit of space on my desk. Glenn has voted for brown, a brown colour. Susan reckons black. Brown for Darlene, dark brown for Wanda. Okay, so same sort of concept with the deers and everything. Um, blue, Janet's just thrown it in there. <laughs> Let me see if there's another... No, I'm going to stick with these. Night of navy blue espresso. Okay, I think brown is one of the day. Or we could go Merry Merlot. Just completely throw a spanner in the works. Let's go. Um, oh, since she's making a cup of tea, anybody want one? You've got to be specific and let her know if you want milk and sugar. Wendy tried something earlier and it's now a top tip. I had a few rubber stamps that had warped. So you heat it up with a heat tool, put a big heavy punch on top and it, when it was cooled, it flattened down again. Amazing. So if you've got any warped stamps, anybody, you heard it here first through Miss Wendy. I'm wondering if this could be like a fir tree. 
Let's try. I might have my friends here somewhere. Trouble is, I've taken the post-it notes off, so I don't know what's what. Ideally, you want them... See, that is definitely there. And that one is... quite that one is it? Ew, I can't remember. I don't think it matters too much. Let's just roll with the punches, shall we? Okay, brownie colours. So again, I think we're going to stick with my dear, dear, dear. My dear, dear, dear. My dear, dear. My dear, dear, dear. Where's the rabbit? The rabbit's there. Now, I just thought I don't have a dark brown to colour him in. Hmm. But we will try and get around that. Let's stamp him. Let's just do this. Because we could use a blender pen. And so I've squished my ink pad and now I've got a palette to use. And with these blender pens, it's got like invisible ink and you can pick up the colour. And now this is going to be interesting because this is a craft card. So it's a bit more porous. It's soaking up the colour a lot quicker. And I have got some white on here already. So it's, it's so that white pigment is showing through a bit. But, you know, we're going to use that to our advantage, make it part of the scene, because we can. There we go, it's quite strong there, I reckon. Quite a strong gear, strong stag. Bronze, says John. <laughs> Could use bronze. I did wonder about getting the embossing powders out, but... um. Yeah, I don't think today. I can't be, can't be asked. I'm afraid <laughs> to do that. But we can use what else we've got on our. I'm wonder, wondering if I can make this look like a Christmas tree. Just keep on adding some branches to it. Oh, hey, that's not bad, is it? That is pretty impressive, if you ask me. And I think in that set there's another one. There is a smaller one. So there's this little spriglet in here, look. Which can make a smaller tree if you wanted it to. So let's come... I just want to wipe off the bottom, that stem, because I don't want it to show. Hello there, Bev. How are you today? This is more of a bush than a tree, I think. There we go. Like a fern bush. Cool. Right, mm, I think I need, oh we could put some trees in, let's put some trees, but we'll use a lighter colour. Dinner's ready for Pam, she's going to catch the replay for the finale. Enjoy your dinner Pam. Where's soft suede disappeared to? It's amazing when you craft and you put stuff down and you've got absolutely no idea where you put your stuff. I'm trying to be tidy. Ish. Is it here? I figured if you kind of know, it's not there. If you keep your stamp sets together, your inks together, you might actually end up finding it again. 
I had soft suede out, didn't I? Your espresso. There you are. Hiding. Wanda says, that's not good, but happens to me all the time. <laughs> Bev says, this is very clever, Esther. Great idea with the trees. Thank you. So I'm going to be brave. Mm, I'm a bit scared to put these trees. So I'll put one behind there because it's in the background. It's behind the ferns. That's all right, isn't it? Phew. <laughs> I thought I nearly spoiled it. Okay. It almost doesn't look like a Christmas card. It could be anything, couldn't it? Do you know what? I'm ready to grungy this up, I think. I'm going to bring on... I was trying to resist. But, shall we bring it bring it on let's bring it to the table we could even use this as well that would look nice along the top of a mixture of foliage hello Maureen nice to see you let's just do it it's you know if you're gonna do it you're gonna do it Cindy loves this card great stuff like I said you don't need lots of colours this is the advantage so this is nice and ivy like so how am I doing on the old time? Mind you, I was late, wasn't I? I'm going to do what's called second generation and just stamp that again. So you've got this kind of shadowing effect. So I shouldn't really say this out loud, but Ellie says that she reckons that stamp's her favourite. Now, we know stamps can be a bit like children sometimes. and We're not actually supposed to have favourites, Ellie. But uh, because you said it, I had to read it out. <laughs> I mean, if we were pushed, we might have to choose a favourite, but you know. Okay, so this is very Versailles, by the way, if you didn't know already. Ellie says she's allowed. She's like, I'm allowed. Now, what I don't want to do is have this too... Yes, you see, that's quite dark. I don't want it that dark. Let's come down here. Oh, yes, lovely. So you get this hint of a script. That's nice, very nice. And let's just do that in there. Oh, Bev, Bev's talking about favourites too. Hmm. Oh, gone a bit dark there, never mind, never mind. Good morning, Amanda from Perth. Oh, why is it so dark? It might lighten up. Let's just go with. Okay, and now I think to just help the cause. I'm scared my brush is going to fall into my tea. Uh, okay, we might as well use this one. I've got it out. Yeah, I caught you live, she says. Oh, yes, very subtle, says Glamour. <laughs> Vicky says, I can't choose the favourite. It's too hard. Got too many favourites. And Levine says, my problem is all stamps are my favourite. That's Yeah, but you're allowed to say that, Levine, and not get into trouble. <laughs> so I'm coming in here with soft succulent. And like I said, because this craft paper, it does come in at six by six, but I've chopped it down so that I can use it on a normal A6 card. And it's quite porous, so I'm adding ink to my brush to make sure that I've got enough to rub on. Now, I'm sorry, it does jog my um, my table when I use this, so just bear with the jogging. Now, just to give you a clearer surface, there we go. Okay, so a few issues with the white ink. The white ink will show through because it's a nice pigment ink. So you will get a few issues with that. So, you know, it's up to you how fussy you want to be with it. Just saying. Or as the lady on the course said, just throwing it out there. She said it about a million times. So now I'm saying it. It's a bit of a grower. <laughs> and I've ended up saying it. Right. I'd like to see what this... Oh! Let's put my foot on that. As I was saying, I'd like to see what this looks like on what do we want to see it on just entertain me 
pale papaya. Okay, a bit bright, but just, you know, just wanted to prove myself wrong, you know. Oh, now this is grey granite. And that actually provides quite a nice colour because it kind of picks up a bit of the white, but it's a nice contrast and it keeps it nice and vintagey. Quite like it. So for those of you who've just joining us, if you want to see, I'm going to show you sneak peeks of what we've just done earlier. So we did another vintagey one in a different style, actually, which was that one. And then we also did this one here. And I will show you one that I made earlier. What, did I steal the white card? Let me just grab another. And this one is just in balmy blue. So lots of fun that can be had. Um, how are we doing? 10 o'clock. Okay, I think I might wrap it up there, folks. Feeling a little bit tired. Got a messy desk to tidy up and um oh i was going to just do accessories okay so we're going to stick down add a few accessories and then i'll i will call it a day but i'm going to stop here uh and in terms of stamping and let me just very carefully move this i don't want to lose anything stay there don't move all right nobody move Got to be an element of cleanliness on my table. Okay. Hi, Ruth. She likes the two on the left, she says now that I've moved them. Okay. So we're going to stick these down and then we can think about if we want any accessories. Now, just make sure that your card opens in the right direction. Has been known. But people do stick it down on the wrong way. I mean, I don't know how they manage that. But there you go. I can still feel this is ever so slightly wet still. So it might just need overnight to, to dry off. Just going to... That was a bit of a bad move because I've got grey on my fingers. There we go. Here's the one that I made earlier. Darling says her favourite one is the one with the scripts. Ah. Thank you, Vicky. You're doing a great job there of being admin. So if you wanted to shop with me, and if you don't have a demonstrator already, because these products are bought through a demonstrator, so please consider me your shopper, shop assistant. <laughs> and yeah, please feel free to log on to my website there and shop with me. Don't forget, there's sales happening right now as I speak, so you can go and check them out and see what bargains you can find. Now this needs chopping down a bit, so I'm going to move that up. Just got to lob a little bit off the bottom there, which I might do now because it's going to bug me. And don't forget that if you're, if you're going to make about a £75 purchase anyway, you might really want to consider about signing up and we can talk more about that Bev says can't go past the script one Amanda says you do make it easy yes so to choose the favourite oh, oh that's kind <laughs> that's really kind hopefully I try and give you some ideas of what you can do well, mix and match a little bit Okay, so I was talking about accessories, accessories, accessories. So let's get out my box of goodies. So you don't have to, but if you did want to, what have I got? So tempted to those, and those, and those. And those, right. So, let's have a little think about this then. So Stampin' Up! are coming out with a new um, embellishment. So if you've not seen these already, they come in black, basic grey, very vanilla and white. So perfect for 
going on very vanilla or white or accenting your cards. So these can be used for little snowballs. You can have snowflakes and, well, snow snowballs. So I could maybe want to add some on this card with the white. And just have some falling from the sky. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to need another packet of these because they're just rather usable. <laughs> and I might as well use them. There we go, a nice little axe. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? So a little snowball accent going on there. Okay. And then let's have a think. Now I did wonder about red for those actually. And that one there. So this one, I quite like the idea of these these bright raindrops or we could do clear raindrops oh choices hmm let's go for a bit of sparkle and just have these sort of like little well there's diamond as well we can mix and match twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond. In the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. Little star. How I wonder what you are. Sorry, I was completely ignoring any comments then. It's about time for those, says Cindy. <laughs> it's just gone 10 o'clock. Uh, let's do some more. Maybe one more droplet. Okay, so that's that one. These are great, they're really sparkly. Oh, well, you know what else is sparkly? We'll talk about that in a minute. Right. I'm, I find myself getting slower and slower. <laughs> slower and slower. <laughs> slower and slower. <laughs> Great grammar, Esther. Right, do we think a pop of red or should we keep it muted? Should we just audition that? Like if we just had a few little red berries in the trees. What do you think? I think that makes it quite Christmassy. I think I might stick. Stick or twist? Stick. Just gives it a nice little summit summit because we've got the green you know we've already introduced some new color i feel like it might need one more okay and then this i don't think i want to overdo it but i do want an accent of bronze So I'm just going to keep this rather low key, I think, and just do that. Okay. So that's the gems. And if we wanted to make it even more sparkly, I won't do it on these, these are my vintage ones, and I don't think sparkle necessarily belongs on the vintage ones. I'm just going to run it along the edge of our snowy scene so that when the person tilts the card, and I like doing it across here as well, like this, get a nice kind of moonlit sky. Will it show up? Will it show up? Probably not, might need a bit more light on the situation. But, um, I'm just going to run it along the edge of the snow scene like this. Just adds a bit of sparkle. And same with this one as well. Let's just add a little bit of 
sparkly love. Just a little bit to the moon here. There we go, not too much. Because it will start picking up on that colour as well. Just going to drag that in. Okay, no, right, time to vote. We'll do... Uh, Oh, shall we have that as we'll have that as number one? Let's just draw you out a little bit away. Oh, that's not out, that's in. Now you can see my messy desk. <laughs> we'll do that as one, two, three, and four. There we go, folks. Very tasteful with the bling, says Glenna. Thanks, Glenn. Oh, lost me for a second. Darlene's vote hasn't changed. She wants to know. Gorgissimo, says Heidi. Gorgissimo. Number one for Darlene. One and three for Bev. Two and four for Lisa. Any advances on two and four? One, four, three and two for Naveen. And it's three, one, four and two for Joanna. I love them all and I can't choose, says Glenna. <laughs> uh, one and two for Wonder. She likes the vintage. One, two, three, four in that order for Deb. One, two, three and four for Melanie. But she loves them all. She says they're gorgeous. Thanks, Melanie. For Deb, it's one, two, three, four. Oh, I've read that already. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much. Always lovely to have your company because you know what? It makes life a lot more exciting when you, you don't feel like you're talking to yourself. You actually can see people responding when you ask a question. Although, one, you know, sometimes it is nice to talk to yourself. But, uh, you get some strange answers back sometimes. <laughs> oh, right, one is Claire's favourite. Uh, Levine likes the sound of the horse race. She thinks it's beautiful work. And is anybody coming in for the last vote before I turn the camera around? And it's two, four, three, and one for Cindy. Maureen snuck in there with the last vote. I love them all, but I really, I am drawn to two and four. <laughs> okay, folks, show's over. Show's over. Time to time to move on. Four and. Three for Vicky. Wowzers, kachowsers, thank you so much. Nice to have your company, to have your company nice. I will hope to be back on my regular Facebook Lives next Tuesday, all being well. So it'd be nice to get back into my craft room. That's what I was actually doing tonight. I was a bit busy catching up on some cards I needed to make and I needed to get them written and sent off. So, um, need to sort that out. Thank you. I, do you know what I like about this is they don't have any sentiments on and so it's quite nice just to if you want to send a winter card or um, a generic Christmas card you can. You don't have to have sentiments on. Ah, oh, Heidi says I have her grinning from ear to ear. Good. I look a bit tired don't I? <laughs> I need to get some sleep. Right people take care please don't forget you can subscribe to my channel just saying if you want to catch me live if you hit that bell button it will give you all notifications so if i'm not live sometimes i might load the occasional video so of the last few tuesdays not being able to do facebook i've done a three two one video literally it's two minutes three stamp sets two minutes one card all right so lovely to see you take care and I will leave you in peace now. Have a good night. God bless you. And I hope to catch up with you another time. Don't forget, you can leave a comment afterwards. It just really helps with the old algorithms. If not, just press the thumbs up button. And then you can find my video again afterwards. Ciao. Bye. Night, night. Bye-bye now.